please hurry up. I'm getting hungry again, okay? Sure, baby. I'm cooking your favorites. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you wash this vegetable very well. Yeah, I will. You know, these market women, they, they, they don't wash it very mm -hmm. well. Lots of sand. Yeah, you know. <laughs> I just want to let you know that I love you. I love you too. <laughs> Alright, I'll just wait for you for a while then. When it's ready, let me know. Sure, I'll let you know, baby. <sighs>
I thought you were gone. How can I go without seeing you or without having you perform some magic? Well, I thought you didn't like things being done here. Would you change your mind? Well, I don't. This place is really... Ugh. Anyways, I came to tell you to meet me in my hotel room in 30 minutes. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Madam, good afternoon. Afternoon, Uchi. How are you? I'm fine, ma'am. Um, is my husband busy or with someone? Yes, he's uh, he's in, but he's busy with someone. What is wrong with you? Nothing, ma'am. Oh, my phone. What's this now? Hello, Desmond. My God, what happened? Okay, I'll be there right away. Please tell my husband I was here. Okay. And something came up that needed my attention urgently. Okay, ma'am. I want to quickly rush out. All right, ma'am. Thank you. This girl is going to put my boss into trouble one day. Ago. She was already on her way to the door. All of a sudden, her phone rang. So it was obvious that something was wrong somewhere. So she quickly rushed out. She said, I should tell you that uh, there's an emergency that she need, that needs her attention. Are you chatting with? Mm. Oh no. <laughs> You're right. And I hope Prophet hasn't forgotten my hair. Let me go call him. You know, sometimes I wonder where you get the strength to do some of the things you do. Well, let's just say I have what every woman wants. And I'm glad I'm able to satisfy your needs, okay? Plus, I'm able to give you your money's worth. That makes me happy. I wish I was not married. Then you could come live with me forever. And ever, and ever. Well, let's thank God that you're married, okay? Mm. 
Hello? Hey, I'm, I'm very sorry, okay? I'll be with you shortly. All right, I'm on my way, okay? All right. I gotta go. Here. Thanks for this. Remind me to give you something extra the next time we meet. Naughty boy. Rest assured that I would remind you that you owe me. Enjoy the rest of your day. I, I will. Alright. Rough Riders gotta go. Alright. Hey, 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 ladies. Hey, babe. I'm so sorry for keeping you ladies waiting, okay? okay? Something very important came up at the gym that needed my attention, and I had to stay back and handle it. Now you're here. Yeah, baby. Hello, <laughs> Welcome. Hi, Welcome. Anyway, who's hungry? Me. I'm starving. You want some? Oh, no, baby, I'm good. <laughs> Waiter! Come, come, come. Uh, I'm <laughs> so what are we having? Uh. you do to me, I mean, I can't forget them in our life. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Mom said I don't enjoy the things you do to me whenever we're together. Oh. <laughs> I love you. You know I love you too, right? Mm-hmm. Hey, babe, I want to ask for a favor. I mean, what is the favor? It's your job. I mean, you know, the kind of job you do breaks my heart. Actually, I feel so bad whenever I see you around those pretty women in all the name of Jim. Okay, what are you insinuating? Baby, I'm not insinuating anything. I'm just saying, I mean, you can get a better job. How could you be doing this in your office? Just imagine if Rose walked in here and caught you down there, messing up with that Adora. My brother, who would have imagined that Rose would just spring in this afternoon all of a sudden? Oh yeah? She hardly come to my office. Besides, she would have called me before coming to my office. I wonder why she didn't call me. Just listen to yourself. Then I listen to yourself. So your wife should call you first before coming to your office. Simply because you engage yourself with an office romance. This is my office, remember? Not hers. So she should call me before coming to my office. I have said it before. And I'll say it again. Stop with everything you are doing with Adora. Adora will cause crisis in your family. She has diverted your attention from your wife. Hell no, she hasn't. The day my wife increased in size was the day all this thing started. Oh yeah? Okay, tell me. When last did you make love to your wife? Huh? Yes. When last did you sleep with her? For your information, I and Rose no longer sleep together. Jesus! Yes, because she turns me off. I can't stand her anymore. <gasps> you are mean. You are unnecessarily mean. You are not fair to that woman. You are stabbing her. Yes! It's unfair! You can say whatever you want to say.
I don't know why Daniel has decided to keep hurting me by constantly denying me sex. <laughs> you know, that's what I am so against. To think you fired Rough Rider because you want to be faithful to your husband. And what do you get in return? He's still maltreating you. He treats you anyhow. You know, I don't get it. How do men do this? How can a man stab his wife of sex? I don't know what to do. And these days, I get honey that at night when I need my husband, he'll be complaining of being tired. Mm -hmm. That explains it all. Daniel is seeing someone else. I don't think so. You don't think so? So how do you explain the fact that your husband has not touched you for weeks? Are you trying to tell me that he's been keeping to himself? Or better still, doing it with a ghost? That man is seeing someone else. He isn't like that. Daniel isn't a cheat. It's because I know he won't cheat on me. That is why I fired Rough Rider. Because he's the one luring me into it. Rose, if you would listen to me, go get Rough Rider back. I mean, when a man rejects something, it doesn't mean nobody's in need of it. Your husband has rejected you because of your size. And Rough Rider wasn't complaining. So go bring the man back so he can continue to satisfy you. My decision is not contestable. Rough Rider is out of the way and there's no going back. It's fine. It's okay. You have to get up for yourself. You have to get up. You ladies have done well on this strength training, all right? Okay, I'm impressed with y'all. So, uh, what we're gonna do now is we have to work on your obliques, your love handle. Like, you need to shred that oblique muscle. So, what you need to do now is put your hands behind your head and follow my lead. Do like this. One, let's go. Come on, ladies, I wanna see you doing it. Two, let's go. Three, let's go. Let's go. Four, let's go. Come on. Five, don't get tired of me, ladies. Six, okay, switch, all right, let's go. One, let's go, two, let's go, three, and four, and five, and six. Perfect, ladies, okay? So I know you don't wanna have all this Christian mother arm. You don't want that, right? You wanna have your arms toned as possible. So we need to do some Mayweather and pack your stuff. You know, you have to do a little bit of boxing. So let's go, ladies. You ready? Let's go. One, two, keep doing it, keep doing it. Don't stop. Three, don't stop on me. Four, five, come on, six, and that's okay. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. You feeling the heat? Yeah. That was up. So, you know, you know, you go to the club every now and then, trying to, you know, do a little, you know what I'm saying? You want that thing to be flexible when you're winding up when you're mad. So baby, let's get it, all right? Hands behind your hips, then put it down. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm talking about right now. Oh, yeah, that's it. Go down a little bit. Oh, right? Go all the way down, keep going, baby, keep going. Oh, I got you, baby, I got you, I got you. Keep doing it, I got you, I got you. Woo, 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 I got you. Oh, look at you. Oh, you looking good. Oh, you can come up, you can come up, you can come up. I got you. I got you, right? Hmm. Whoa, no, no, you have to go all the way down. Yeah, that's what's up. I got you. You'll be good. You'll be fine. Yeah, that was up. Oh, look at my baby right here. I got you. So when you wind up on your man, he gonna love it. That was up. Then come up. Ah. 
Now what's up, lady? Put your hands together for yourself. How do you see that, baby? I mean, it's good. I mean, this, this is what I'm talking about, because you need to look fit, because fitness is health, and health is wealth. So you got to recognize that, all right? So no pain, no gain, say that. No pain. I can't hear you, man. Are y'all even talking? No, no pain, no gain. No pain, no gain. I said, no pain, no gain. No pain, no gain. No pain, no gain. No pain, no gain. That's right. Go hard or go home. Go hard or go home. I said, say, go hard or go home. Go hard or go home. That's what I'm talking about, all right? That's what I'm talking about. So, I know y'all don't want to go home because y'all got to go hard in this gym. So show me what you got, ladies. Let's kick it. Let's kick it. Let's kick it. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. That's my ladies. That's my ladies. I'm proud of my ladies. I'm proud of y'all. 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 Daniel, why are you doing this to me? Daniel, please. So sex has suddenly become a hobby for you now. Eh? Where will you ever allow me to sleep in this house without you bothering me for sex? Where are you going? I'm going to where I can sleep, where no one will disturb me for sex. You can stay here alone. Why is Daniel doing this to me? A lot of husbands are responsible for their wives cheating. Take me for instance. If not that my husband is more interested in making sure that his money keeps growing while neglecting his matrimonial duties, I wouldn't be here. Mm. Okay, well I guess it's right to say that. It is well that your husband didn't play his cards right. 